Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, I got Ghostmaker from McFarland Toys. Let's open him up, check him out. I love unboxing figures. I mean, come on. Um, nothing wrong with keeping them in the box. I do have figures that I am keeping in the box, but uh, I do enjoy unboxing them and checking them out. And this particular figure here, um, I finally had to actually order it from McFarland Toys because I just have not seen it in my area. And I really, really... Uh, dig this one i mean look at this thing this is such a cool figure look at that i mean it just it's just cool looking i love the there's just a lot going on with it it's very very cool and uh yeah i can't wait to uh to get it unboxed but uh the box itself this back art i mean that is just awesome right there uh, and, and I'll be honest with you, I don't know any backstory with this figure, and uh, that's okay. You don't you don't have to know everything about a figure to appreciate it or a character or anything like that. Uh, but there's just something about this. He's got some Japanese going on. I don't know. I just I love it. So tell you what, I'm gonna get him out of the box. And we'll take a closer look at it. All right. Got a ghost maker out of the box and first and foremost got the the card here very very cool um, you'll have to overlook the uh, 3d printing uh, cut right there that's right but a uh, little data card these these come with all the McFarlane figures which is cool got the classic base nothing really spectacular there uh, the figure doesn't come with a lot of accessories comes with two katanas right there that one has a pretty distinctive curve to it and then we have the short one right there so like i said as far as accessories that's pretty much it i have seen better katanas but for overall these aren't too bad now the figure itself look at this thing look at the the detail Oh man, this thing is so cool looking. Um, a lot of softness to it. It has a really good texture to it. Um, but I'm digging this thing a lot. Got the head sculpt or helmet sculpt right there. But look at all of this detail. This is so wicked cool. Uh, when I first saw the figure, I didn't think he actually came with uh, she's for the katana. But they're actually behind the cape. So that's pretty cool. But as we look, just texturing. This is just a wickedly cool uh, figure. But the, I'm really digging this texture uh, in the trousers. Got the shoes right there. I mean, very, very nice. I mean, honestly, for, for in my opinion right now, this is probably one of the best McFarlane figures that I've picked up uh, recently. So we've got some good articulation in the head. Side to side's good. Oh, that's actually really good looking down. Looking up's not too bad. Shoulders. Oh, wow. Yep, that just happened. Wow. <laughs> Did not expect, oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna have to send uh, an email to McFarlane uh, on that. I mean, it's it, it can go back in, but there is nothing worse than having a figure right out of the box and uh, it uh, malfunctions. But yeah, wow. I can't... Uh, can't believe that. Like I said, it, it pegs right in, but I don't think it should come off that easy. So, um, it happens. Let's see this. See, this one's actually pretty tight. Got some good elbow. Wow, that's, uh, 
Wow. <laughs> I might have to make that a thumbnail. <laughs> I'm just going to set that off to the side for now. Um, not bad abs. Side to side's good. Not terrible. Oh, wow. Got good uh, hip articulation. Is there any kind of... I don't think there's any kind of thigh swivel. I'm really curious about the knee with this uh, trousers here. I'm really curious to see. Ah, that's what I thought. All right, so we do have the opening there, and it looks like that is about it for knee articulation. And to be honest, I don't know if I'd go too much past that because, you know, I don't want to see... Uh, don't necessarily want to see that, but you know, it, it is what it is. Got some oh, ankles are okay. Got the toe pivot, which is great. Awesome ankle pivots, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a good looking figure. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that's a bummer. That is a bummer right there. So uh, yeah. Got the cape back here in the back. That looks pretty good. So it looks like on the swords, the long sword goes in the bottom. Let's see how that works. And, oh, wait a minute. That one goes there. Wow. Come on. Get, whoops. These are actually pretty, I'm not going to say flimsy, but you can definitely tell it's soft plastic there we go all right there we go so that actually has a really uh cool look to it but uh yeah guys there we go <laughs> we witnessed a uh a figure losing its arm right out of the box so uh yeah i tell you what i'm going to look a little closer at the arm <laughs> and uh yeah, I'll come back to you and give me my final thoughts on the uh, Ghostmaker. All right, everybody, we're back. I got the uh, Ghostmaker all posed up. I decided to uh, give him a pistol uh, in his left hand and only one katana, leaving one katana in the sheath. Um, I sort of like the way that looks. That way you still get to see uh, the sheath. Uh, but I just thought I'd change things up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, we got the uh, the card, we got the DC uh, base, uh, but you notice I'm not using this. I'm actually using uh, this smaller clear base, which is part of the Funko Pop uh, bases, and they work great with uh, figures. So, uh, you know, if there's a situation to where you may not have room or be able to use the, the larger base, the uh, clear Funko bases will work as well with your action figures. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, thoughts on the figure uh, from a uh, artistic look, texturing, leather work, uh, you know, all the nuances that make it. Honestly, I'm about to give it a 10. Um, I think aesthetically it looks great. Um, they the McFarlane nailed all of this texturing, the wrinkling, all of that is just amazing. The armor looks great, lots of detail. Uh, we got some scratches and stuff in the uh, shoulder armor. Got a uh, little logo over here on the right armor, uh, shoulder armor, but the buckles have the silver. It just, it looks great. Um, the katanas, that's probably the one thing I'll probably give it a little bit of a ding on because Eh, I've seen better. Let's just say I've seen better, uh, but they still work. They still look great. Uh, but yeah, I've just, I've seen better. Now the you know elephant in the room is we all witnessed the uh, the right arm come off, and that was interesting. It's not the first time uh, my red sun figure. I think it lost a leg, and then my uh, one of my Batman figures uh, lost an arm as well. Um, I will definitely let McFarlane know. Uh, I'll send them the link to the video. That way they'll be able to see uh, exactly what happened. Uh, things happen. You know, they just do. And it's nothing to get upset over. But I do understand that if you 
go out and purchase something, whether it be a, you know, it doesn't matter what you purchase when you take it out of the box and something happens to it. I can see where that would, you know, bother some people. Um, but again, the arm goes back in place. Uh, it's definitely not secure. Uh, I can take it out really easy. I did check the, uh, the left arm and no issues with that. So I'm not a hundred percent sure how, they're attached at the bicep. Uh, I don't know if there's a piece missing or what, but like I said, I'll let McFarland know uh, what's going on and they've got great customer service. So uh, yeah, I'll just let them know and we'll see what happens. But like I said, overall, this is an amazing figure. I'm so happy I was able to, to get it. Um, like I said earlier, I had to order it from actually McFarland online because I've yet to see it in, in person in the, uh, in the wild, but yeah, I, I'm going to have some fun with this one. Yeah, this is going to be a fun one to photograph. Uh, this is a fun figure. To also, if you wanted to start customizing, you could go in here and you could weather this thing up, you know, put a little bit of a, a grime to it, and it would take it very, very well because of all the texturing. Uh, that part, I can tell you 100%. Uh, articulation's great. Uh, no real big issues with that. Uh, but yeah. That's it. We're done. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have this particular figure. And also, even if you don't have it, let me know what you think about it. Uh, cool, not cool, you know. Uh, the one thing I want to stress is, you know, that there's no need in leaving any comments, you know, talking about, you know, quality or anything like that. This is nothing what this is about. This is just about the figure and how it looks. And like I said earlier, I think this is a solid 10 uh, as far as its overall look, articulation. And the only little ding I can give it is the, uh, the katanas, you know. They've been a little bit stiffer, um, maybe, but uh, it's a very, very soft plastic. But uh, the review's done. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, if you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor, consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, make sure and turn notifications on. That way you'll know when I drop videos and do live streams and everything else related to my channel. And please, as always, remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.